Hey everybody, my name is Blackbird and we're starting my second let's play Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. So let's start this adventure and press start. Oh, I, that, let me delete this log. Yes, I'm... I wanna show how when you create a new character, look, a new file. Here's a quirky thing about this game. It start, it's full of puns, it's full of, of little things, but when I create a new file, the... The rock, the slimes form ladders. But let's keep the name Rocket since this is the standard name and let's go. Once upon a time, there was a small kingdom called Slimania. There, in the peaceful town of Boinburg, lived a smile of slime called Rocket. This game starts with a little. Uh, Little cutscene that is m like showing how quirky and funny and cute this game is. Really, it's a it's a game like it is extremely funny. The first time I played this game, I sat down like 8, 9 a.m. and it was like midnight when I finished the game. I played it like straight, only making small stops for use the bathroom and eat. Kids, uh, kid, the kids are like um, zobbing the adults, which something that always happens, right? <laughs> and you can see that Huli has a really competitive stake. It's not much a challenge to bre to beat Ruli's record here. It's really easy. Um, you can, if you really take your time, it'll take 15 seconds to beat Ruli's rec record. Anyway, uh, the let's the game shows now the Elastoblast, and the Elastoblast is um, the thing you use mostly during the game, the common that will be mostly used during all the adventure. So let's start this. Let's see if I can do this under 10 seconds. Oh, I won't be able to do this under 10 seconds. I usually do it under 10 seconds. But as you, as you guys could see, I was really taking my time and I took less than 15 seconds, so it, it's just a, a little tutorial thing. <laughs> yeah, this is... It's like, I love, like how the game like introduces the the basic mechanic y you'll be using through a, a little mini game. It's really it's really funny. It really helps to ease the the idea that it's a tutorial. And, and the water flute is like is going to signalize uh, a lot of things in this game. So pay attention because this thing is really important. And Daddy is angry. And that could have hurt a lot. Thankfully, slimes are, are slimes. <laughs> I guess they don't take like a lot of pain from this. And Big Daddy, uh, he speaks in all caps. It's normal, all right. It's like at the angry, hammy, voiced person. And not the Brias if he thinks his son is actually a, a bat. <laughs> oh, little boy, little boy is so cute. Gotta keep the order, right, Dad? <laughs> this is not just a cute face. <laughs> oh, I can jump! Like I forgot I could jump like this. And the noise he makes is hilarious. Oh, oh.
You have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, don't leave me alone. Just because I'm a bat? The plob, huh? Ha. You see, they are they are after the water flood. I said it was important. Slime nap. Oh! And we here we can see that that is strong. And how is slime has scars? He got a scar. He's one angry, scared slime. Uh oh. Dude. All that because of flute? They're really doing all that because of flute. Dude. <laughs> a worm. I'm not a worm. As you guys can see, people here are not exactly smart. <laughs> Without warning, the town was attacked by the mysterious group called the Plop. All of the town's slimes were snatched up and taken away. And Rocket, who was lucky enough to escape the Plop's clutches, was thrown all the way to the Forward Forest, a few miles away from Boeing Park. And if you guys noticed, the lake up, the, up there is actually uh, the sh in the shape of a slime. We're gonna see the map later, I'm gonna show that in detail. Oh, the flute is broken. And yeah, let's find them. And here, we can hover. Oh. We can smell you. <laughs> I know that smell anyway. Dude, we gotta be really smelly if he can recognize us through our smell. Like I said, the Lasso Blast is the main gameplay mechanic of the game. Oh. All right, let's let's do this. Let's bring him back to, to the village. Anyway, that's how you do this. The last of Blast is, uh, like I said, is the main mechanic of the game. You're gonna use to everything. To hit on enemies, to carry, to throw stuff up so you can carry them. And to break stuff that is you know, on your way, impeding your, you to proceed the game. You're gonna use it all the time. And the game is a little bit instruction heavy on the start of the game. And if you jump and, and hold the jump button, you can hover a little bit. And let's roll him. Oh, we're gonna rescue everyone. Yes, we can do it. Let's do this. All right. If you keep going here, we're gonna get near here. It's gonna have to activate something. Oh, a letter from Swiss. 
Let's press the start and access the menu screen. And you guys like it? If you like it, like it, if you found it weird, if you didn't like it, tell me. Anyway, every time we rescue a slime, um, he's going to give us a, a little gift. And it's going to happen multiple times to the game. I believe we have a hundred slimes to be rescued. Pom pom pom, it's a pom pom. And those items are going to be really useful for later. There's anything here? Mm, no, not here, not now yet. So let's move up. And here we have... Oh, there's the plot. I love this music. Oh. I really feel sorry for this underlink. <laughs> that was a well deserved. <laughs> a well deserved beating. Wait up, boss. <laughs> And they left a chest. Those blue chests always have slimes. So let's open it. Oh, and you guys are gonna notice uh, the slimes have many forms, many variations there. Uh, like uh, rock slimes, stone slimes, um, uh, slimes with tentacles, <laughs> slimes with various kinds and shapes. It's like slimes is, is more of a species than a. Uh, just a, a, a kind of monster. Or the contrary, I may be mistaken. <laughs> so solid. This game is full of puns on, on, on the text. It's really, really full of puns. Let me, let's see what hits Tony gave us. Rolling around. Rolling rocks. <laughs> Another pom pom. Those items they give will be really useful la for la for later. So while they may be simplest and unimportant, they will be have usefulness later. Uh, here's coins and the trains like manion cards. If we jump on them, we can actually go back to town. Let's pr go ahead. And there's another one. So uh, here we have another item. Let's get it. And this is the thing, we're gonna find a lot of items uh, down on the on the map. And if you get those items, um, and we can send them back to the to town. And they'll be useful for later. The game takes its time to introduce the mechanics of the game. Could this for a moment to set me free? <laughs> Let's do this. God, here's a, another carrot. Let's throw this here. Oh, I lost. Okay. Let's go. No, I don't want to go back to town. The blob again. I feel so sorry for this guy. <laughs> Pretty beat boss. The slime dudes are kinda heavy. <laughs> and if they all are like huge like that, they are really, really heavy. <laughs> he really can't do anything. They're like abusing the poor chap. Follow us through. Yeah, we can really follow, but uh, let's continue. If we hit the cart, uh, we can damage them. I don't remember if we stay in a way the cart will cause damage to us, and I don't want to risk it right now. It's going to happen eventually, but <laughs> so I, I won't need to, to provoke a happening. 
those like you guys like you saw um now well the the leaf recovers hp and let's give this pom pom back oh i didn't need it to even carry it i can't go over there I believe I can go over there, let's give me a second, let's try to go up here. This episode is going to be a little bit on the long side because it's the first episode. The next ones are going to be a little bit shorter, but I'm gonna go on here and get another item. Oh, more coins and another chest. I love this music in this game. It's, it's so so happy and so full of, full of adventure feelings. It's really good. I, it's really enjoyable. And, and overall, the game has this, uh, a happy feeling about it. You, you, look at that smile. How can you can't be happy looking at that smile? Let's get this. Oh hey, Mother Gloop Perrier. And let me say this: the Dragon Quest series has this thing like. Uh, it has a religion that has mostly uh, a church that resembles the Catholic Church, but uh, it's that they actually worship a goddess. I think I don't remember. Uh, yes, it's usually they talk about the goddess, but uh, it, it usually is the, the priests from the Dragon Quest resemble uh, the Catholic Church, and it seems that it translates to the Islam society, if I can say that. And you've cleared the area. And after beating every map, it's going to show a screen like this one, showing the results of the of this of the adventure. After arriving home, exhausted from your hard day's slurp, you go straight to bed. They uh, they usually do jokes like this. Then the next day. Anyway, and the second screen is going to be a map uh, like, like how it showed previously, and it's going to be like our navigation screen. Plumbers. Yeah, they're evil. They're the plumb. Slime tones. Don't ask me like this. Uh, why the, the the slime tones have to be? Uh, a, a slime can lift a, a one slime tone, and like you can get other monsters to to join the village uh, during the game. However, only slimes can remove those uh, those spiky balls, and they're necessary to clear the way to uh, open new features on the village. So, um, because I want to show most of the features, we're gonna be rescuing all those all those limes. I we don't have to go out of our way to rescue everyone, but it can be easily done. So I'm gonna get everyone back. I got enough breaks. <laughs> Slime napped. They're they're gonna have to replace words with slime and goo and things like that. The characters always use this. The dialogue of this game. I love the dialogue on this game. I have the goddess on her side. Like I said, uh, it resembles Christianity, but they worship a goddess. And like uh, the church does the, the basic function on, on Dragon Quest games. In Dragon Quest games usually the church is used to heal your party, to revive your dead party members, and to save the game. In here is mostly to save the game. So here's here in the church. Yes, mother, let's go and save our game. Yes, because there's no previous log. 
and she'll sing and they'll sing every time and as we, we rescue more slimes uh, the church will be getting uh, f fuller with more members are we going to continue the adventure? yes and they will all sing together when the, you save the game so let's go down and continue our adventure there's more slimes to be rescued down on the forest and like I said if you look here uh, on the map the lake looks like a slime shape so let's move to Forwood Forest. Let's go. And here we have a member of the plop. And now let me show this. If they attack us, we're gonna lose HP. It's basically on the navigation screen. You can see that as we move through the map, there are monsters. There are uh, day, light and day cycle, and some monsters will only show uh, on on night. And here's the thing, every time you rescue uh, a monster, they're going to join the village. And if we rescue a note of them, um, they're gonna get like a, a bronze statue once we unlock the museum. And every time uh, you unlock a statue, the, the monster is going to, is going to, to join the, the force and going to join your party. So you'll be able to um, use the monsters for a nifty feature that has to be yet to be introduced. So I'm gonna be getting most of the monsters. I'm I don't believe I'd be going out of my way to rescue all the monsters to join the village. If I have to go out of the way, I mostly be doing this off screen, so you guys don't have to worry for me. Like, oh, you're going to spend a grind grinding for monsters on screen? No, I'm not gonna do that. Mostly because I don't have to do. The, the game is mo mostly simple. I believe only by the end of the game, few, very few monsters that's needed to do, to have to be done. So I've been running mostly, and those cats are so cute. I love them. Let's continue here. And like, if you hit the monsters, I believe it's three times they they're going to die, and I believe they turn into coins. Oh. And some monsters have stuff that distract them. For example, the cat monsters, there's a, a catnip item on the map. And if the monsters are, are next to the cat monsters are next to catnips, they're going to be looking to play with it. Oh, there's no here, so let's go north. I love the music, you know, this game is so like full of adventure. <laughs> Oh, more pom-poms. And if you're asking, why are you getting so many items of those repeated? It's because uh, the repeated items can be used for uh, for crafting new items. They like they serve like materials. Any blubby here? Blue bouquet. <laughs> rock bomb. There's a rock bomb up right there, like the map is showing. And one of the things. Ah, uh, here's a catnip. I guess it. And here's a mole monster. It can go deep on the own earth to attack us. And if the if the rock bomb falls, it's going to cause damage to us. Anyway, let me throw this here. And we're gonna rescue this guy. Baron Blubba. Baron Blubba is exactly on the main line uh, Dragon Quest series called uh, the King Slime. However, since we have a king on this on the slime village, it's not going to be King Slime. And as you guys can see, the cat is in love with our catnip. Oh, the cat got smashed! So let's continue. Let's see the item we got. Saving me rocket. The item we have here is. Oh, we got uh, a rock bomb and Mother Glooperi. I didn't check the item she sent us. And we got a chest. Uh, I'm rereading it. No, no, I'm not reading it again. <laughs> That's good. Let's go. I believe it. Uh, I won't get this item now. I'm gonna get it later. Like it, like it. Previously, you can jump on this hope to go up, but uh, right now, it's blocked for us. Uh, 
at least in this first part of the game, some stuff is going to be blocked to us, or we can't be able to access it. And if you clear all those, all those leaves, we'll be most likely getting uh, a few, a few coins on, on this. But it's not like we really need those coins right now. Actually, I believe I went most, most of the game without buying anything. But that, that's because I'm stillborn. See, I've been playing some really hard Japanese RPGs recently. Well, not hard, but they really need some some resource management, and I've been being quite uh, afraid from spending money on games when I need them. Something I'm gonna gonna get gonna need to be get rid of when I'm playing games that don't require uh, such high level of resource management. And if we jump here, we're gonna unblock the this, this little part on the start of the game. So I'm gonna throw the these items here because it's a new monster, and we'll go back and continue. No. Oh, they won't back. They won't go back. Stop it off me. Anyway, let's continue. Go here. Every time you get near a boss, you're gonna meet this, uh, a thing like this that's gonna heal our, our HP. And a big door means a big boss. So let's go on. Both Peter. Shop you down to size. The bo this boss uh, is not hard. A few boss bosses will require a few tricks, but as long as you keep your distance and keep attacking, it's not hard to beat them. They, they're actually not the main barrier to advance in the game. They're, they're, well, they are the main barrier because they're blocking the... Uh, unlocking new maps. But it's not hard to beat them. And chopping down to half HP, they're gonna mo go in a angry mode. Oh, I can't hit him yet. As long as you keep away from his range of attack, it's going to be easy. And it's mostly done. I like how the, the leaves on his head are falling, falling. And like I said, when you take out some of the leaves on the ground, they reveal few coins. Ha! <laughs> Losing leaves. And one more hit to go. Uh, and we're gonna beat one of the bosses. And this is one of the classic sounds of Dragon Quest, is the sound when you level up. I like when the game keeps uh, references to the main series, not just acting like a spin-off standing by its own. It's Royal Woobliness, King of Slime Minion. He's the King of Dubstep. <laughs> Went back to the palace. Oh, oh. Something big is happening. It's a tank! The Platy Plunger. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, we can't fight against this. Let's run away. Oh, oh. Oh, no. You angry fat slime. <laughs> why you got it? Why the royalty needs to be so fat? Why you don't have more warrior kings? So. This is not a hard challenge at all, we just gotta run and dodge the those bombs that Plop is throwing at us. If we do a, 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 a linear a move on, on, on diagonal, it's, it's most, we're gonna mostly avoid the being damaged. 
So it's not hard at all, but a few times the fear damage is going to be a setback. <laughs> like this. Thankfully, while I avoided taking damage, uh, usually during the first episode, mostly until now, the Let's Play curse kicks in on the first episode. Uh, that's lovely. And again. Thankfully, he, we, won't, we won't lose the king. He won't fall up, fall down. And we're done. And the, the green spots on the, the result screen shows how many slimes we have to rescue yet on that map. I believe the total is a hundred slimes in the game. And we save the king. And I believe it will be mostly done here. It's Hobliness is waking us in the palace. Certain that. Oh, really? Really, genius? It's going to be certain that to face a tank? For centuries. Flute water. Oh, the flute again, huh? A vast castle made of sand. Mmm. Waiting for the great hero. Mmm. And appearing on our map. Mmm. Who is the great hero? I have no idea. Okay, your his his royal wobbliness. And after we beat the second of the game, we're gonna get one item that's going to increase our HP. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm glad to be back. Let's play, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoy playing. And tell me what you're thinking about the series. Leave a comment uh, if you enjoy it. Press the like button. And if you want to get notified of the new episodes, then please subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!